Studio Lou, it's Cindy. So today's um, Tinker Lab challenge is electronic. So I'm going to make some kind of a journal card or something with that theme in mind. Um, so what I have is actually the, the book, the very first book that I ever gutted for um, a junk journal. And it is like um, a big book of like electrical diagrams and stuff. It was like a mechanics um, book. I forget what the name was, but I made a Sesame Street journal out of it. Um, and so, yeah, there's all sorts of cool diagrams in here um, about like mechanics and stuff like that, electrical engines. So let's grab a page that is a little bit specific to that. Like um, this is the uh, Remy electric system or Studebaker. So let's do something fun with that. Then I will grab a glue page here, book page, and I'll just set this aside. So I know I want to just make the background with this kind of cool image. Um, so where is my glue stick? Okay. I've actually had a very busy day today. I've, um, after I do this, I'm going to work a little bit in the Mythical Beasts journal. Um, I got a bunch of work done on that. I got the signature papers um, sewn in and attached the spine and finished the ribbed spine. Um, so yeah, I've been a busy bee. All right, I'm going to sort of center this like this. And then why don't I just glue the other parts on the back just to make this thicker. Why don't I put the glue on there? Okay. And then I, um, what else did I do today? I went grocery shopping. Hurrah. It was uneventful and quiet, thankfully. I don't usually go on Saturdays because I'm always like, oh, it's going to be busy. But it wasn't. It was actually really quiet, thankfully. Um... So I got that done and I started working on something that's going to be happening soon. I can't talk about it yet. It's, it's still in the prototype. Well, not in the prototype stage. It's actually now coming along, but um, you'll see it soon. And I've been working on that today. And then um, what else have I done? I think that's about it. We made some nice tuna steaks and um, sweet peas, sugar snap peas, and it was really a nice lunch. Okay, so now we have this backing, but I think I want this to be a little bit thicker. Let's see if I have some leftover packaging um, that I could use for this. It's too long for that one. Here's one. Here. Okay, so let's just back this with this so that we have a nice backing. And I talked to my girlfriend this morning and she showed me um, a challenge that she's going to do to draw a bird every day of February. And she's going to do a coloring book and call it February, and I'm going to probably watercolor, do a watercolor postcard of a bird every day in February um, and call it February. So I may include that in my videos um, for this channel if you'd like to watch me um, paint birds. And maybe when I get started, actually, yeah, when I get started on it, I will share it here. And then I will post the link to the bird list that we're going to um, be painting or drawing. So if you want to take part, you can. I'll post that on probably around the 1st of February, maybe the day before. So the last day of this month, I'll do it maybe. And that'll be like a nice monthly challenge. So, okay, electrical. What else do I want to do with this? Um, 
let's think I could like watercolor these or I could um hmm I don't know what to collage on this. I could gold paint some of it. Hard decisions. <laughs> Hard decisions. Or I could turn it into something that would work in um, another journal that I'm working on. My problem is I really need to organize all of my fussy cutout things because it would make my options way easier because I just I've got a lot of stuff that isn't organized so nothing of use really here hmm. definitely not a flower I don't think I want to do a flower today I think that will take away from the theme a little too much. Although you don't have to like just stick to one theme. Electrical. what I'm thinking about is just like doing a little bit of collaging and um, I'm also thinking about like electrical lights and moths um, how moths would like go to a light so it would give me an opportunity to use some cute moths from this book sphinx moth Big moths. Hmm. Royal walnut moth. Wow. Moths are beautiful, although as somebody who loves wool, they're also evil. We don't like moths in this house. We don't let moths come anywhere near this house. <laughs> Clothing moths, anyways. Black witch. That's cool. Okay, let's go. It's not super colorful though. Maybe we need a little bit of color because that's kind of like not that colorful. That one's cut off, too bad. Regal or royal moths. I really liked the black witch moth, but oh, there we go. A Luna. That's my favorite moth of all. So let's go with a Luna moth. I'm gonna see if I can maybe just bend this back a little bit. I hate when the um, edges get really ripped and I don't want to have to get my razor knife out. Here we go. <laughs> Should be able to do this without a razor knife, right? Okay, so this and I think maybe I'm gonna cut one of these out. The one that says memoranda. in kind of a more boring area um, maybe right here and then I don't think I'm gonna like fussy cut this moth I don't know hmm maybe I will we can do this right I need to spend some time cutting things out. I have not 
been doing that lately and I am running out of things that are already cut. Though I do like things just torn around a lot too. bitty antennas. There we go. I saw this um, cool video today and I forget what the channel is. Maybe I will look it up and link it in the description box, but it's um, astronauts reading books in space from the International Space Station. And it is so cool. It's a YouTube channel that you can check out. I'm sure if you just Google that, you'll find it, but it's called like, there's like a website that also is associated with it. And I can't remember what it is right now, of course. But I was watching um, one of the stories being read this morning, and it was really cool. I posted a link to it. I have a group on Facebook. Um, well, I have a Studio Lou page on Facebook, too, if you want to join me there. But I have a group that's called um, uh, Creative and Nature Inspired... Um, something or other. I completely forget. Let me actually look this up because it's going to drive me cuckoo. Let me just tell you all the things. <laughs> How about I do that? So that I'm not just like blah blah blah. Um, Okay, so the group, my group is called, let me see if I can hold this up. It is Artful and Nature Inspired Activities for Creatives and Kids. So if you want to check that group out, um, definitely do. We, we just kind of post links to like cool things that, um, you know, we find to do for either people who are doing creative things or like with kids, you know. So if you want to like learn about different things. So then the, um, let me see. Okay, so the channel is called Storytime from Space. So it's storytimefromspace.com and the channel I think has the same name. Let me just double check that. 2222. Where is it? Uh, yeah, there it is. Let me double check. They've kind of embedded their um, YouTube channel in to Welcome to Storytime from Space. Yep, Storytime from Space. Let me just open it here. Let me just open it in YouTube. It doesn't want to on mobile. Yeah. Sometimes when people embed things, you can't like open them again on YouTube. Do 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 do. Um copy video URL. Yeah, okay, yeah, it is. It's Storytime from Space on YouTube. So, like, you'll see... And they go outside the door safely. You'll this see is a really here. neat place to like... be. We get very excited when we get to come in this area uh, because we knew we know we're about to do a spacewalk, so, and it's a lot of fun. She's Let's... floating with this book about the moon, and so really cool. Um, so I definitely recommend checking out that channel. I thought it was a lot of fun. So that's my sidebar right now from <laughs> doing work on this. Okay, there we go. Now where to put our Luna? I think kind of just above these two round 
electrical diagrams here would be good. And I didn't ink her. Why didn't I ink her? That was silly of me. But that's okay. I should just take like a, um, hmm, just like a pencil maybe. Maybe pencil would be kind of cool to just go around her like this and then, I mean, it's kind of like, you know, like an electrical, oops, electrical diagrams. You'd be sketching them. You could use charcoal to do something like this, but I'm just going to kind of loosely like pencil around her. I think about like how many of these kind of like old manuals and things that kick around about old cars and things and like machine shops. That's where this kind of took my brain. Yeah, so it just kind of makes you want to like be a part of the doodle here, you know, like draw a little arrow and draw a little arrow here. There. Now we've become a weird electrical engineer and we're just like <laughs> pretending to be experts. Then I'm going to tear out the description from the field guide about the Luna Moth because that's fun. And I'm not going to include the, um, the caterpillar because I think people are like freaked out or find caterpillars like gross or something. So I don't want to do that. Um, although I find them cool, definitely find them cool, but I don't think it goes with this overall thing. So, whoops, this is my glue book and I am gluing my arm to it. I need to pull that page off. we used one and now we have another one and it's a never ending saga it's a never ending and now I need more glue <laughs> okay so we'll put this maybe right down here the luna moth then I feel like I want to use a bit of this gold paint So I think I'm just going to like paint in this little cog here and maybe also this little one. Hmm. And maybe these little bitties on the wings. This is a really shiny, beautiful gold leaf paint. And maybe this little circle here. And then up here, this little thingy. This adds some like gold accents here and there. This little octagon. Just kind of like painting in any little dots or circles, little things that look like little pieces of an electrical machine. Um, just to add a little bit of interesting color. I think I might paint this whole thing in actually, not just the... There we go. Perfect. Actually, let me just 
best to just wipe all this paint off before you put your brush in water. Because this is like some kind of enamel paint, I think. It's, um, it's a little different than other paints. So, okay, now let's see, does this need anything else or are we, are we good? I think I, I like how it looks. I think I'm okay, to be honest. I think I'm okay. Um, yeah. I do have some nice scrap, like, I could use to just... Let me see how this would look. Yeah, I like that actually. Always experiment because you'll probably like your results. Okay. Then I can do the same maybe toward the bottom. I'll just have to rip down one side really low because we've got the words there and I don't want to cover them up. My husband sneezing audibly. He has the loudest sneeze in the world. It's a genetic thing. I think his family, men in his family have broken records across the world, I think, for sneezing. Um, what's the word for that element of sound that I'm looking for? Decibels, decibels and sneezing. those bits and bobs. Oops. You know what? I think I want to tear out this little bitty boo flower and just stress around the edge a little because I don't want it to be super bright on the paper core. There we go. And there we go. I'm going to put that right up here. Okay, so I'm going to stitch around that on the sewing machine and I'm going to call it done. So that is my um, electronic, electronic piece of work. So yeah, let's just... Uh, Make the back a little bit inky here. It's pretty white. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so that's that job, job done. Jump and jump. What am I saying? Okay. <laughs> Let's get rid of this glue cage. Then I have this bug book. This is my amazing um, bug book. This is like um, an entomology like student's guide or something. Ugh, I love this thing. And it's got all these awesome like um, labels that the student used. Like they really studied this book and I love it so much. Okay. I keep thinking I'm going to use this piece of this LaCroix package, but I think it's too little because of the split in the middle. <laughs> Okay, so let me grab the journal that I'm working on here and um, let's get the manual of electronic engines and things out of the way. Okay. 
Okay, here's Mythical Beasts. So what did I do? Um, I added in a rib spine and I put this cool ochre um, paper, or fabric over it. And um, so there's all sorts of bits and bobs on it because I've been doing a lot of gluing today. Um, I put this lovely ochre um, fabric over it and I inked it up to give it like some cool looking age and stuff. So that's been glued down on both sides. Um, so it's, it's very firm and feels really nice. Then I Mod Podged with matte Mod Podge over the whole entire thing. So it's got a nice feel to it. I like it. Um, and then we have the signatures. The threads are still here hanging. I don't know if I'm gonna tie anything on them yet, but the signatures are in and the end papers are in. So I really love the first signature page with this antlion. Absolutely adore it. This um, I like. It's like about the zodiac, and I thought like it talks a lot about like the different you know sort of celestial like the lion, the crab, the scorpion, um, and so I just thought it was cool. Like there's a little bit of not sexuality to this. I mean, come on, it's really not that sexual, but it talks about how. Um, you know the the sexual aspects of the zodiac so just about how it governs the human body <laughs> then on the back i put in this pocket that i collaged and i put the the lovely the dun cow <laughs> I put in the Dun Cow um, journal tag here and then another image to go with the one on the front. Um, so end papers are in. I'm pretty happy about that. And now I can actually go through this journal. I, I also backed some things where I didn't like the back of the page. So this, look at this lovely, this is the center of the first signature. Isn't that so beautiful? <laughs> I um, did some gold collaging up top and I added these words um, and just kind to rough them up a little um after the weather had cleared sang and danced with the light like just love these frogs and so i use this nice gold paper and i backed the jelly print with this nice leafy paper um what else did i do to modify the pages here um I backed this one in gold. This is the center of the second signature that has the story, the boar who declared war on the forest. Um, and then, yeah, I like this big mountain pullout. So that's pretty cool. Um, what else do we have going on in here that I made or did recently? my jelly print blah 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 oh and I backed this with more of the mountain paper because I like this this is the center of the third signature and I just backed it more with that mountain paper um, and I used some indigo paper images here to just cover up things that I didn't particularly like like the back pages and then this is the center of the first signature according to legend and I backed that with this nice digital from my porch prints oh. and I did the same on this side I added more of the paper from uh, my porch prints and that needs a little bit of glue right there let's just use this nice fine tip art glitter glue and just give it a little bit of glue there we go that's better Boop. Okay. Then, um, I did this collaging on this page with this crackled lead paint kind of paper. Like, it was an image of crackled kind of lead paint. And I love this snake, but I didn't want all that text there. So I just did some collaging. Let's see. This gives you a little preview of the book added some more of that leafy paper and some of the leaves are kind of leaving the page. And this one I also covered in gold on the back. It's the story of the phoenix and the singing master. That's the center of the last signature. And covered this with the uh, leafy paper. So yeah, we have a good start. So let me grab my basket of ephemera that I've made. And we'll plunk it all up here and we'll see what we can add in and then last thing I'll do is put the book plate on so here we go so let's maybe just 
start with the pockets that I have. I probably will need to make more pockets because that's always the thing that I never make enough of. I always end up making a lot of journal cards because and tags because that's just the way things go. So there we go. I think I've only made like four pockets for this book. So let's add them in anyways because we have them. So this one, because, yeah, there's a pocket at the back. So let's start with the first signature and decide where I'd want to put a pocket in. Maybe on the jelly print, maybe on here. Actually, maybe that would be nice on that background, I think. Yeah, I like that actually. Okay, so let's just get the glue here. And this pocket was just made like almost like a baggie um, from the cover of the little book that I used to make a lot of the ephemera out of, the Mythical Beasts. And it's kind of fun because it's like shiny and stuff, as you can probably see, which is kind of a pain on camera because it causes glare, but it's fun in a book though to have like a few things that are shiny and fun. Just get the extra glue that's coming out the side here. Boop. Okay. I'm just going to hold this for a second to just, uh, it wants to be kind of bendy, so I just want to hold it. Just so it knows what to do and where to be. Okay. Yeah, that feels great. The nice thing with art glitter glue is it does not take a long time to uh, do its thing. I'm just going to press this one little corner here for a second. Good. Okay. Yeah, that feels more sturdy. So that's that. Um, I'm also going to set aside the little the book plate for Mythical Beasts then I have to decide what I want to put in that pocket. It needs to be tall enough to come out and not too wide. That's a little short. Maybe the tag of the squonk would be good. The squonk. No, that would stick up too high. He's too tall. So... This is what I always do is like I end up having to make a ton more stuff because like I make things <laughs> that are too wide and too tall and so on. Okay, this one actually. Yeah, that's perfect. That's awesome. Um, I'm good with that as is. I don't even want to put like a tag on top. You don't need to put them on all of them. I think like it's kind of unnecessary. Then what do I want to do here? I'll leave that for now, but I'll probably come back and stencil all the white pages with something. So, so that is a pocket in the first signature. Now let's go to the second signature. Um, maybe on my digital here. Um, See, these pockets are larger, so I'd want to use a larger page for those. This one, maybe. I don't think it really goes, so the colors aren't right. I think that the Tengu would be too wide for this page, probably. Possibly. Maybe not, actually. It could be kind of cool. It really matches, and I think even when the book is closed... Um, oops, let's get all these guys out of here. Let's make sure you guys can see what I'm talking about. I'm sorry, I'm off camera. Let me just, um, I think my my other phone has gone to sleep, so I'm just going to connect this phone so that I can see my my camera range um, so that I'm not out of focus here. There we go. We'll just set you back here so I can see you. Oh, wait. <laughs> Or not. Stay there. Stay there, little friend. I swear, I need to bring, like, a camera holder down here. If it's just, or a phone holder. Um, but I think I'm in frame anyways. Let me just stand up for one second and check the camera. Camera. 
Yeah, I'm good. Okay. And we're all sewed almost there. There's my camera. Now she's waking. <laughs> okay. So if I lay this swoops down, I can back a little, and lay that there, will it jut out of the book a little bit? So maybe. I mean, I'm not like super upset if it comes out of the book a bit. I just haven't added any lace on the edges to this, and I typically do that. But I might find a page that's a little more inset, like this one. Or even possibly this one. That might be nice on this one, actually. I like it on that one more. But I want it in this signature, so maybe, maybe like that would be good. Let me see. Because that page is a little more inset, so it doesn't poke out of the book. Okay. So yeah, these ones would work for sure. I could also go on that side, but I don't think I like that as much. Hmm. I think I like it on the other one because here we've got this big thing and they kind of it kind of wants to be like a little shifty. Yeah. We're gonna just go with what I what I originally liked. <laughs> So let's see how I'm gonna glue. So that edge, that edge, that edge, and then just kind of straight up. Okay. Whoops, that's a glob. Okay. Let me just grab a little bit of that here. There we go. Now that's going to, let me just get the extra glue out of here first. It's going to want to lie the other way for a second so that it can fully attach to the page. So let's just let it do that. Oh yeah, I'm nowhere near the edge. That's good. I don't want to have a bunch of things hanging out of this book. Flip it over and look for any little glue blobbies. I just like to clean up any little excess bits here. I'm just going to hold this down and make sure that it dries nicely. Sometimes you just got to help it out a little bit. There we go. Yeah, that's good. Then I can decide what I want to put in that pocket. Um, <laughs> my desk is such a mess right now. Oh my goodness. There we go. Put you over there. You go over here. These guys. So I was thinking it would be nice to use one of the tall tags in these maybe. I think I see a little spot that needs a little bit more glue between the pages here. There we are. So I could be a little bit of a perfectionist here. So there's a few layers of paper. I just want to make sure every layer is fully adhered. My nightmare is like things letting go. I always do like a flip through of all my journals before they leave my possession <laughs> just to make sure and actually I haven't had things like need to be repaired before they go out so I guess that means that I am getting everything figured out before uh, I release them from being made. Okay. All right, that was a little more arduous than it needed to be. So we've got we've got the squonk, the fenhuang, and the arepinap. 
I feel like the colors would be good. The arepanop. So let's try to put that in there and see how it would fit. Yeah, I think it would be good, but you know, I'm going to let the pocket fully, fully dry before I add this, but I'll just keep it in there because then we know where it goes. Um, now this, I honestly would like it on one of these pages, but not so close to this. I like to spread the ephemera out a little bit in this book. So yeah, I think I'll put that on there. another little tall pocket no that might be yeah that's a little too wide so it can't go in there I have to make like some belly bands I think to um add to this journal yeah I think a lot of this stuff is a little too wide I tend to make like sort of um a lot of things in the same kind of width so then I end up having to make more stuff that would fit. Okay. Yep, that would go. Let me just let it dry though again. I think it will go. Um, actually, maybe not. You know what? Let's just not obsess about that. Let's just let the pocket dry. Now let's find out where to put this cool pocket. Um, head to the next signature here. This is another one that's a little bit wide. So let me... Is it just going to, generally speaking, be too wide for this book? Because if so, I'm going to have to trim it down. Yeah, I think I might have to trim it down a bit, which is okay. So let's just trim down the text side. And then decide if I actually need, I don't think I really need those, like, these pieces that hang off the side a lot. There we go. Just neaten up the rounding on the corners here. That's a little less. Yeah, that's a lot less actually. Um, let's put a little glue on here. It takes me so long to decide exactly where I want these kind of things. Not the right color. I feel like I liked it back here. Yeah. I mean, I know I'd be covering up all these, but I don't think I really care. I kind of just like it there because it's going to overhang a little bit. Yeah, that would look cool, I think. Oh, 
There we go. Gotta hurry and position this. Art Glitter Glue doesn't give you a whole lot of time to reposition. Okay. Let's make sure that's all good, and it is. Okay, so now we'll just let that pocket dry. Now, I'm going to go back here, check this one, pop this in here. Oops. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> I have to get my phone holder. Goodness me. Okay, so there we go. I think maybe the unicorn would be nice in it, actually. Yeah, I like that. Where did I put that other pocket? <laughs> there were four, right? <laughs> I mean, I suppose I'll get there when I get there. And... <laughs> Chances are I already stuck the thing inside the pocket, and that's why I'm not seeing it. good. Now I gotta decide where I want to put this little mythical beast label. So I'm gonna just cut it out here. So I'm gonna be doing a shop update a little bit later on today for anyone who may be interested. It's going to be um, yarn. So it's going to be some really fun um, packs of hand spun yarn that are kind of um, mostly targeted, I would say, toward like weavers who want like, you know, a few different things. So I'm going to read this really quickly to see if it's um, troubling. <laughs> No, it's actually cool. Yeah, okay. No, I'm fine with that. Um, I could put it here. Like, <laughs> we could block out her breast area. That actually kind of would be cool. You know, that actually looks kind of cool there. I'm not even kidding. I'm doing it. I'm so doing it. I just think it's going to be fun there. It actually kind of looks like, I don't know, it just kind of looks like it belongs there. Like it just needs to be collaged there. I don't know. <laughs> there we go. And it's like an upfront, like, this is what this book's about kind of thing. What I am going to do, I think, though, is just take my razor knife and just uh, snip this here. There we go. So the whole thing just lines up with the edge of the book page that I used for the end paper. Okay, so... Now we have all things that need like pockets and belly bands and holders of, of sort, except maybe this. This could be like an over the page tuck. And that could be neat. Let's find a, a good sturdier page, it's like a heavier page. I like to put the tucks on a heavy page. Oh, with gray, it would be nice. I really like yellow and gray together. Yeah, that's nice there. So I think I'll do that. Um, 
I had one. Let me see if I still have it. I had one like altered paper clip left. I need to like have these mass making sessions that I keep talking about. I don't have enough stuff made. There it is. Let me grab it here. It's the last of the altered paper clips that I've made. <laughs> There we go. And it even matches the thread. How perfect. So yeah, now we are officially out of pockets and things. So that's what we need to make. Now, well, some of these actually could be nice tucks. So this is one. I mean, I could even punch that as a pocket, but I think it would be a nice tuck. And I actually think this one would too. Um, and even this one could be a cool tuck for like one of these even. Yeah, maybe I will use this one as a tuck. So let's see where I need a from. Oh, there's that empty pocket right there. So I wanted to see what would fit in here. Maybe the mermaid, I'll pop her in there cause she looks kind of cool on this red background. Um, and you know what, because she has writing on the back of her card, I will pop this tag in there with her too, just in behind. And then that will be kind of fun because then there's something to write on on that page. So Medusa, maybe Medusa can go here as like a tuck. So I think I'm going to stick this in there once it's dry. So I'll just put that there with that. But then we actually, I do need to make stuff for this. Um, yeah, because this is too wide that direction. It needs to really get tucked in. And I don't want to use that one. It's got stuff on the back. This one is a maybe. That could be a like a pocket or tuck it would look pretty cool actually I'd like to just trim the edge off a little bit it's a little bit too wide to be a pocket honestly both sides let's just do both sides here Yeah, that would be good. That would be much better. And I think I'll like leave it open on this side maybe, as, or open on this side. Maybe that side. Uh, I want to ink around that though. And I want to round the corners. On the bottom. And on this side, because it's, which side am I leaving open? This side, okay. Yeah. Now, as I'm looking at this Luna Moth picture, I feel like that could actually go well in this journal. Because a Luna Moth is kind of a, a little beast, right? So that's actually what they call um, insects in the homeschooling uh, curriculums. They, they call them little beasts. 
And I think that the squonk would go in that pocket really nicely. The colors are really good for that. So let's put the squonk in there. And that means I don't need to make a whole lot more. Um, but let's get started. We'll just move the journal aside. I picked up this paper. Um, I wanted to make a belly band or two or three maybe for it. So we have three remaining kind of things. So this wouldn't, I don't want to put in a belly band. I want to put that like with an altered paper clip up top. Um, and then these, I think I will belly band those. So let's just make two belly bands and an altered paper clip. So I think I'm just going to cut along here actually. Set that aside and then measure the belly bands to be the height that I want and decide where I want to put something more. So I should just kind of do an ephemera check. So I've got a pocket here, a pocket there. So two in for signature. Maybe. I think maybe on the mountains might be cool too. Yeah, I think the mountain page might be fun to put this. So we're going to go right through here. Just like that. And that'll be a good belly band. So let's just glue it in. Okay, I think that's a wrap for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you all have a great day. Um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. All of my information is down below in the description box.